A chest tube is a tube that is inserted through the chest wall into the pleural space that aids in the removal of air or fluid that has accumulated in the intrathoracic space. In this video, we're going to break down a sample TMC practice question on this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A 55-year-old male patient with a pneumothorax has a pleural drainage system in place. Upon assessment, you note that there is no bubbling in the suction control chamber. After confirming that suctioning is turned on, which of the following would you recommend? A. Increase the power of the suction control. B. Withdraw the chest tube about 3 or 4 centimeters. C check the connecting tubing for leaks, or D, add more water to the suction control chamber. Do you know the answer? Let's break it down. For the TMC exam, you definitely need to be familiar with chest tubes and pleural draining systems. Here are a few tidbits that you should remember. If there is no bubbling in the suction chamber, this means that there could be a leak in the system or in some cases, you may just need to increase the vacuum suction pressure. On the other hand, if there is bubbling in the water seal chamber, this is normal when a pneumothorax is present. This lets you know that the air is being drained properly. However, the bubbling in the water seal chamber should not be continuous. It should be sporadic. If there is continuous bubbling, it means that a new leak has developed. In this case, you should check for a loose connection. If the collection chamber becomes full, you should clamp the chest tube and exchange the system with an empty chamber. And if there has been no change in drainage, there may be a kink in the tubing. So taking everything into consideration, since there is no bubbling in the suction chamber, this tells us that the correct answer has to be either A or C. But the question states that the suctioning is turned on, so the best thing we can do in this case is to check the tubing to see if it has any leaks. Which means that the correct answer is C. Check the connecting tubing for leaks. Well, what'd you think? Was it helpful going through this practice question? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the promotion that's going on by using the special link. I'll drop it right below this video down in the description. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. I will drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.